The ESMO 2012 Congress of the European Society for Medical Oncology in Vienna has come to an end, and it has broken all records. Astonishing, 16,402 delegates from around the world, more than ever before, discuss cutting-edge developments in all fields of oncology. Research discussed in Vienna will undoubtedly reshape current treatment strategies. A number of trials presented clearly showed that there is a substantial difference in outcome between Phase three trials conducted in selected or unselected populations. ESMO President Professor Martin Picard comments on the move towards personalized medicine. Personalized medicine is uh, one of the important goals of the EU for the Horizon 2020. It is clearly uh, the dream of uh, all doctors and cancer doctors in particular because in cancer there is a very narrow margin uh, between the efficacy of a treatment and the toxicity of a treatment. And finally, personalized um, oncology is an expectation of each patient. A patient wants to get the right treatment at the right dose and for the right duration. What we now understand is that uh, cancer is extremely complex. So being able to deliver precision medicine to cancer patients is going to take a long time, is going to require massive collaborative efforts. And ESMO wants to play a vital role in accelerating the progress towards precision medicine in oncology and in medical oncology in particular. It's uh, important for uh, the oncology community to understand the kind of efforts we will need to put forward to reach this goal of personalized oncology. For example, we will need to pay a lot more attention in diagnostics. You know, we need to have very solid, very robust diagnostic tests that can give us the right information on uh, which type of tumor we are treating. We know today that, for example, breast cancer is not one disease, but probably 15 different diseases depending on the molecular aberrations that you find in these different breast cancers. The same is true for lung cancer. So we need very robust technologies to tell us which type of breast cancer we are treating. Uh, we have not spent a lot of uh, money in diagnostic tests until now, and that will have to change clearly. Another important consideration is that uh, we will need massive international collaborative efforts to uh, transform the dream of personalized oncology into a reality. The European Society of Medical Oncology, ESMO, has put uh, personalized oncology as one of its top priorities for the next few years. What can we do as an organization? I think that we can educate oncologists because it's now very difficult to cope with the very rapidly growing information on new pathways in cancer, uh, new possible targets. So we can certainly help with the education of physicians. We can help with the education of patients and there was a interesting patient seminar here in Vienna where we try to explain to patients what personalized oncology really means. Then of course we can also encourage research and we um, have realized that research today is very difficult, that there is a lot of bureaucracy and we want to fight this bureaucracy because it's going to slow down the clinical trials. And as you know, we organized a theater play here in Vienna to highlight all the problems of clinical research that we are facing today and that could potentially impact on the speed of progress towards personalized medicine.